everybody and of course welcome back to another Flex episode. I'm Jeanette Dierghart, your presenter for Flex and today we will be doing a full body weight workout. We'll be using some dumbbells as well. So grab your dumbbells, grab the right attitude and come join me in this workout. Ranging from current affairs, community stories, local index remains unchanged while overall. Thank you for joining the show that highlights the news making headlines in the land of the brave and beyond. Always major victorious. Welcome to My.NA Cars, your ultimate destination for everything automotive. I am your host, Diana Master. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Discover the latest models, innovative technologies, and expert insights from our passionate hosts. Learn essential maintenance tips and get exclusive behind the scenes access to the automotive industry. Don't miss My.NA Cars on NTV every Thursday at 2100 hours. Tune in and ignite your passion for automobiles. So now it's of course time for the warm up where we get our muscles warm and ready for the 25 minute workout. So join in, let's start. We are gonna start with some arm circles because we will be doing movements that will be the same as the arm circles. So let's just get warm and ready. We'll be doing this for a whole minute. So not too difficult, not too easy because it's a minute you'll start feeling it a bit more so after 30 seconds we'll be rotating it to the back and taking it in different directions so just rotate your arms let's go so you really have to make small circles you can do big circles if you want to but for this purposes for the purposes of this one we'll just be doing small circles so now we'll rotate backwards so we're working on our shoulders we're working on, but you really want to, um, you really want to point your fingers while you're doing this, pull in your abs, and continue with this movement. Okay, so we will not stop there. After this, we'll be pulsing our arms, so we'll be going up and down with our arms. So the idea is to do these small workouts and really get going. So now we'll be flying away. So just going up and down, relaxing your neck. You'll feel the tension in your shoulders, but try and relax that area as much as you possibly can. Don't strain your neck, don't strain your face or your head. Just relax into this. Again, we're doing this um, pulsing for a full minute as well. We're getting our arms warm and ready. I can feel it in my shoulders already, guys. So let's continue with this one. And then of course, we'll be doing some hip openers after this while we just get our arms warm and ready. We'll do some cardio movements as well to get a heart rate up. So don't stop and don't quit. Let's continue with this. This might feel like the workout, but it's not. We'll be adding the dumbbells and then you'll feel a little bit more of, um, of a workout, of course. All right, okay, so now we're just gonna climb over the fence. We're climbing over backwards, of course, so we're opening up that hips. We'll be doing this to each leg. So you really wanna open up that groin area and lift it as high as you can. I'm already feeling warm because it's quite warm where I am. So 12 seconds left, 10 seconds, let's go. And then we'll be doing five seconds we'll be doing each workout on each leg or we'll be doing the leg separately okay so lifting it up you'll also hear your bones cracking or at the other side you might not but let's just go with it let's open up our hips open up our hip area more that groin area really get it to work Okay, so you want to lift your leg as high as possible. 
and one. Awesome stuff. So now we will be going into a front kick and a back kick. So kick front to the back. Try and keep your balance as much as possible. And if you lose your balance a bit, that's okay. Focus your eyes on something. Okay. Let me not look into the camera because then I lose my balance completely. Look at anything to focus your eyes on in five, four, three, two, and one. Of course, we're moving to the other leg as well. What you do to the one leg, you do to the other, and front and back kick. So flexing your foot as you go into these movements. Okay, forward and back. One side, you'll be less balanced, but that's okay. You can work on that side for longer. But looking at something really helps to keep you focused and ready for the movements. Two, last one. Okay, so now we'll be going into a small pulse squat. So we're gonna bring up our heart rate a bit. So we'll go down and up. Okay, so one, two, three, and up. One, two, three, up. Feeling the movements in your quadriceps. Now, if this is too much for you, you can just go into a small squat, a normal squat. You don't have to go as deep. So just do that. Four, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Last movement. That brings us to the end of the warm-up. That wasn't too bad, am I right? So I will see you all in the first circuit. We are so excited to be kick-starting your morning with the entertainment. Everything was happening mm. during this past weekend. Yes. Exciting news. Wow, no, she was killing it already. In my opinion, I don't see anything wrong with him serving the full term. As well as keeping you informed on the issues that you need to know happening in and around our country. So now we'll be doing some arm pulses with our dumbbells. I've got two KG dumbbells with me. Now, if you like the guy or hate the guy, Andrew Tate once said that the more reps you do with small, um, with lighter weights, the more you build that resistance or you build your strength. Because with heavier weights, of course, you'll do less reps. Um, so let's try it out. So we'll be doing the pulses for a whole minute. That is gonna be really difficult. So let's go for that. Okay, and then we'll do something different with the dumbbell. So I'm really feeling gravity here. So lateral raises are quite difficult with a normal weight or with two kg weight. So let's pulse a bit longer. As I said, we're doing this for four minutes. So continue with it. If you'd like to use uh, one kg weights, go right ahead. I don't know how many pounds that are. That is. So relax your neck as much as you can and fly away with the dumbbells, okay? Just a quick rest there. 15, so let's go a bit faster. 12 seconds, 10 seconds left. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. There we go. So I had to count faster there at the end because it's quite heavy that way. So now we'll be doing a full minute for um, the bicep curl. So we'll go halfway and bring it up, okay? So just halfway and completely up, keeping your elbows against your, your body. And up for a full minute, okay? So we'll be focusing on our 
upper body for this first part and then we'll be moving to the lower body. So we're continuing with this one for a minute, like I said, really lifting. So if you have nothing else to work with but um, light dumbbells, then I suggest you do a lot longer and that you actually target those. Um, you, 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 you go. Your goal would be to do longer reps. So more reps, more time if you focus on the time. And one, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so now we'll be doing some um, overhead presses. So we'll be lifting up those arms. Again, we'll be doing about a minute of these. So really lifting up. It's not too difficult. Just getting there, pushing through. Really easy stuff today. We're taking it slow. So I'm already feeling it in my shoulders. So we'll just continue with that. Five, four, three, two, one. Another 30 seconds, let's go. Okay, so let's try and get our form right. Tuck in everything and lift that arms. Okay, so you really want to keep um, looking forward. 12 seconds left. Nine, eight seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, that was nice, really nice. So we'll quickly be going into a plank position. And in that plank, we'll be doing renegade rows. So we'll go down and then you'll be lifting it. Okay. So keep your body as still as possible. Don't swing your hips like this. You want to keep your body as still as possible as you possibly can. Really engaging those abs. 10 seconds left and we're done with a circuit. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go, pretty easy, pretty simple. Now we'll be heading over to the second circuit. So now it's time to tackle our lower body. We'll be focusing on our glutes, our calf muscles, and of course our hamstrings. So we'll be starting off with some pulses, again leg pulses. So we'll be lifting up our legs and we'll be doing some pulses with the dumbbell in between. So you really wanna squeeze it between your legs and then we continue with it, okay? so. You will bring it up, flexing your foot, and let's go. Okay, so you really wanna squeeze everything and continue with it. So you want to have a 90 degree angle as you bring up that leg. So we have 15 seconds left on this. Let's go for 12, 10, nine, eight. So squeezing through it, five, four, three, two, and one, and moving over to the other leg. So not too difficult. If you have one kg weight, again, you can do it for longer. So squeezing, going through the motions. All right. If you want to do this longer, you can go right ahead. You actually want to squeeze it between your legs you want to squeeze the dumbbell so that you can engage your glutes more and perhaps get the glutes that you want to get. Three, two, and one. All right, so now we'll be doing glute bridges. And what we'll do is keep um, the weights between our legs as well. So let's do that. Okay, so now we will be doing some glued bridges and you'll be squeezing the weights like I am doing here between your legs while you're lifting up. Okay, so really squeeze it and bring it up. 
you actually want to feel the weight pressing against your legs while you're holding it up. I'm sure this will be a bit more difficult with a heavier weight. With this one, it's not too difficult. So we're really getting into those glutes. Don't let the weight fall down. Okay, seven, six, five seconds left. Two and one. All right. So now we'll be doing an ab movement. I know I said this is lower body, but surprise, surprise, your abs is also a part of the lower body. So we'll be bringing those legs up and touching your knees with us. Okay, so with this one, just ensure that the dumbbell doesn't fall on your face. So you really have to squeeze it. And let's go for 12 seconds. Really squeeze the dumbbell between your um, knees. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, well done to you guys. So now we'll be doing a bit more of our legs. We'll be going into some fire hydrants. So the fire hydrants will be also squeezing the dumbbell between our legs. So that can be difficult as well. So let's see how that feels. So it's almost like the leg pulses that we did, but this time around, we'll be lifting it to the side. Okay, for 30 seconds. And then we'll move to the other side. So really squeezing the dumbbell between your legs between your calf muscle and your hamstring for 30 for 10 seconds so this one not too difficult just squeeze it as you go four three two and one move it to the other side okay so let's do that as well okay so not too bad and lift it up. Okay, 27 seconds. Let's go for 20 <laughs> and lifting. So I'm feeling this one a bit more on this leg. So lift it up, squeeze it through. Let's go for 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one there we go awesome stuff guys that brings us to the end of the workout i will of course see you in the cool down welcome to active kids a daily tv show that sparks creativity learning and fun for young minds with exciting activities and lessons active kids inspires curiosity and a love for learning new face to the 15. <laughs> The perfect mix of play and education. Don't miss out on the fun. Tune in to Active Kids on NTV every weekday at 10 o'clock and let the adventure begin. We are so excited to be kickstarting your morning with the entertainment Everything was happening mm. during this past weekend. Yes. Exciting news. Wow, no, she was killing it already. In my opinion, I don't see anything wrong with him serving the full term. As well as keeping you informed on the issues that you need to know happening in and around our country. So now it's time for the cool down. We'll be bringing that heart rate down. Not that it was up a lot. We didn't do a lot of cardio. We didn't do any cardio at all. So let's do some quadriceps stretches, lifting up that leg. And we will be kissing our knees together. So holding it there. And there we go. Okay. Awesome stuff. So we're really squeezing those quadriceps, really engaging it trying to get it together stretching through it for eight seconds okay let's go for five four three two one and on 
the other side for some reason my quadriceps are quite tight we did a marathon two weeks ago or yeah but it wasn't you know my all my my muscles went tight but maybe that that's why i'm still feeling it so i'm quite unfit to be honest with you so 10 seconds left eight seven six five four three two and one awesome stuff now we'll be doing a forward fold we'll just be going down stretching our hamstrings as we go down really engaging your hamstrings through your calf muscles we have 15 seconds left so let's just stretch it out hinging at the hips of course and we have three two one stepping out a bit more and then we'll just be going to one side and then to the other side as well so we hold at one side for 30 seconds so just hold it there and when we're moving to the other side as well seven six five four three two and one moving over to the other side okay 24 seconds don't stop don't quit this is the easy part we have 15 seconds left so relaxing your whole body and stretching through that hamstrings so we're really gonna stretch through the hamstrings three two and one okay so now we will be stretching our arms of course sitting up straight crossing your arm over your chest for 20 seconds and then we'll be moving to the other side breathing in and out in and out just breathing in and out and out okay so you really want to take deep breaths in and deep breaths out engage your core while you're doing this so that's the point of straightening your back if your abs are tucked in your back will be more straight so let's engage our core all throughout the workout you don't want to not engage your core um, that way you are getting a ab workout throughout any workout that you're doing five four three two and one all righty okay so now we'll just be rolling our shoulders back because you might have seen that we worked our shoulders so we really want to stretch our neck and really stretch our shoulders okay 15 14 12 11 10 seconds 8 7 6 5 4 3 two and one now a forward roll so you want to engage your shoulders stretch it out breathe in and out while you're doing this and not tensing up your neck too much remembering to sit up straight 13 12 10 seconds left eight seven six five four three two and one that brings us to the end of today's workout of course i hope you enjoyed it with me and i hope to see you all next time again from me Jeanette Dierghardt from the flex team goodbye for now